Hello to all my friends out there. Lunchtime. So since the first of the year, I've been living in my car one half of the day from the time I get up until I go to bed and then in my townhouse the rest of the time. So since I'm an insomniac, I'm, I'm in my townhouse a lot. Uh, also, I noticed uh, quite a few of the people doing car videos have recently moved into a house. So that is awesome. So lunchtime. Okay, I like this anyway, so I bought, this is for my house, uh, this is ham lunch meat, and I bought some cheese. And I bought a pair of scissors for a dollar. I have some in my makeup bag, but I want some, one pair in my little uh, car home thing, box. So let's see. Oh, they have the they have the the zip thing. That's good. So, uh, what I'm trying to do is I am trying to find food that I would eat at home as well as in a car. Some of the car, like some of the food, like the uh, food I bought yesterday, which was cans. Well, I could eat that at home too. So here's my little, I have some masks, I have some cutlery, my car is really jacked up and so is, is my little bag that has my, uh, my um, cutlery in it. Uh, what happened is I added, so I want to cut this in half because that's the way I like to eat it. So what happened is I added uh, eBay, going back to work on eBay, because I realized that I, so what I want to do is I want to cut this, this um, lunch or this ham is made for the bread that's one and a half, one and a half uh, sandwiches. I do eat that sometimes, but I cut it in half and then, you know, I store, I freeze half. And then I have, I, I've gone to slice cheese. Tonight I'm gonna make a tuna casserole. That sounds really good to me. So if you have like some cheap lunches and some dinners and you're used to eating them every once in a while, if you ever, ever had to eat them, uh, you wouldn't suffer as much. So what I like is, is a piece of cheese um, I want quite a bit of ham in here uh, because I'm not having bread. So I have, this is going to be like my sandwich. Yummy. Okay, that'll do. You don't have to live in a car to do this stuff. You can live in a house and do this stuff. So far, I cannot see how it's saving me any money, but I know it is. And then to go with my sandwich, I bought this stuff at 99 cent only. The lunch meat was $2 and so was the cheese. This was $1. And uh, I thought, wow, you know, you need to be more careful that you're buying everything at the cheapest possible price. So this chip dip is $1. So I'm saving like 34 cents. So that would be every fourth every fourth dip would be free. I've been very, very sloppy lately for me. I've been very cheap, but I've been a little bit on the sloppy side. Like, um, you know, paying $2 in the morning for um, soda. When, what I do with it. I mean, it's really a disaster. I can buy these for a dollar. This is a liter. And tonight I will refrigerate it. And then tomorrow morning, I don't have to stop at 7-Eleven. So now let's see if I can get this thing open. So I'm in my car. Um, I am a person that really can uh, exist in some disorder. I mean, I won't go crazy. Um, my uh, townhouse, you know, the minimizing was going really good until I started 
you know, pulling the eBay stuff out of the bags, then not so much. But uh, the eBay, yum, the barbecue chips are the best with a sandwich. So I'm saving on bread. So, you know, and, and this is a dairy. One of the, the followers was laughing when I said this was a dairy. Mm. Yummy. One of the channels I watch, Life with Patty. Go to Life with Patty. Now, my phone is feeding me all this stuff I don't want to watch. And what I do want to watch is Life with Patty. And so Patty made mention that there wasn't very many uh, Easter things. And I go, what? Uh, Christmas, remember, I couldn't find any tree, tree trim. And when I moved, I purged mine. That was a nightmare to me. So what did I buy? It's for the baby. It's a unicorn. You know how bad it would be? This was the last one. Yeah. Uh, and now I have to find something for the dog because, you know, the dog guards the baby. If the, the baby cries, the dog runs to investigate. So... He was the baby first. So 99 Cent had these nice Easter eggs. I'll eat one. Oh, I just, you know, I have to eat one to let you guys know if they're any good. These are hollow. They tell you it's hollow. That's okay. I don't care if it's hollow. Some of the chocolate Easter t eggs are like eating chocolate wax. So let's, and these are nice big ones, see? Good for car dwelling. By being so cheap, I can afford to live in a little nicer home. Hmm. Okay. I can recommend these. Okay, and then every year I buy one of these, so I bought one of these just to make sure. And then in the clearance, they had this, it, it, so half price, so it was $2, and Quench and Soothe Body Cream. I go, yeah, I could use that. Um, I take two hot baths per day. So you might go be going, well, you deserve every, every wrinkle you've got. I go, yeah, that's true, but we're in a pandemic. I don't want germs. And my hot baths get all the germs off of me. And they also, oh, this stuff looks nice. They also uh, relax me. I started that out when I used to work in the dirty beauty shops. This might have been a return, so I want to squirt a little bit. I will squirt a little bit in the box just in case. Sometimes people buy stuff and they regret it. Looks nice. I'll go try it. Oh, this stuff's nice. Uh, actually, I might consider buying this for $4. This big of a tube is a lot. The worst hands in town. I was a hairstylist. What do you expect? Okay, now, I did a little shopping at Walmart. Uh, I am going to be shopping at Food for Less because, you know, I'm buying the Kroger stock. But um, I always find good stuff at Walmart. Okay, I bought one graham cracker pie crust. Now, this is something you don't want to buy them just anywhere because if they're stale you're not going to enjoy your pie I bought some coconut because I'm going to make a coconut cream pie I bought some vanilla pudding so what I do is I make the pudding and I add about three quarter cup um, coconut and then I put whipped cream on the top and I toast some coconut and then I put that on the top 
I bought uh, one. This is my favorite biscuit mix. And when I get home tonight, I'm going to make some onion rings. And what I love, you got to try this, is beef rice aroni. So I have some hamburger in my freezer that I want to use up. So I'll fry that up and I'll make up the beef rat beef rice aroni and then i will use i have one open i will make some uh, pancake mix out of my biscuit mix and i will dip my onion rings in there and i will fry them then a uh, walmart these were about four dollars i don't want to run out of soap yeah i use antibacterial soap in my hot baths and i deserve my wrinkles i bought an onion I'm just buying the fruit and vegetables by the singles. I bought a banana cream um, pudding, uh, sugar-free peach jello, and chocolate pudding. I could choose to make a chocolate cream pie. Uh, when I was raised, my friend's mother used to make those, and I thought they were so delicious when I was a kid because we didn't we didn't eat that much um, like uh, cookies and that kind of thing when we were kids. Not really. Maybe that's why we were such healthy kids. <laughs> okay, you guys. Lunch meat and cheese in the freezer. You could put bread on this. Okay, you guys. Oh, I just want to mention too. Like when you're trying to save money on food, if you fortify your meals with cheese milk, sour cream, chip dip, although, you know, that's iffy, and uh, butter, dairy, any dairy you can think of. One time my uh, customer said, and I had an argument, and it was, what would be worse, no cheese or no milk? And I said no milk, because then I couldn't make gravy, and she said, oh, no, 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 it'd be worse if we couldn't have cheese. It'd be worse if we couldn't have either. So put that into the back of your mind. Okay, you guys. I love you all. You're all lovable, even the meanies. Actually, I enjoy the comments. The... Also, you know, sometimes I get mean comments and I go, yeah, that is true. And I take it into consideration. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, but I want to mention something. Okay, what happened is I was uh, watching something else and this blank screen, a black screen, popped in and started, an Asian started talking about Kevin. You know, me, Kevin. So that kind of stuff, I don't appreciate. It wasn't that nice either. So I, it should have been stored on my phone under history. And it wasn't. Something else was there when I went in. Otherwise, I would have posted it right under that idiotic wedding video but i couldn't find it okay you guys please that that is not funny please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all